Hello and welcome. A bit of cloud cover overhead for today's encounter. Well, some light rain might make an impact on this contest. Looks like the fans have opted for the lounge chair for this encounter. And with me is legend of the game, Gary Lyon. Thanks, I know I'm very excited about tonight's match. Tonight's match between West Coast and Fremantle. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. I agree with you there, Hanno. It's a big day for the Dockers courts. If they can get on top of the West Coast defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The West Coast sky. Captains prepare for the toss of the corner. West Coast wins the toss. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. Wins the ruck duel. Rushes with the kick. Ball off hands. Just through the ball. Gibson sends one up towards the wing. Bounce works for McDonald. Just gave it away. Duffy will be the recipient of the free. Uses it by foot. Hort wins the ball in the air. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. A spearing kick. Ori did well to win that ball. Looks up with a kick. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Picks it up. Flicks with hands. With the ball is Gooch. O'Sullivan grabs that one. Puts it on the boot. Duffy worked hard to get to that ball. Collects the loose ball. Sees it over the boundary line. The boundary umpire will toss it back in. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Antonio gets the loose ball. Gibson dug out the loose ball. Giving it off was Horton. Missed opportunity with a handball. The loose ball scooped up. Just put it on the boot. They can create from this. Soccer's a kick. McDonald decides to soccer it. Carter puts it on the boot. Uses the bump. Kane with a shorthand pass. Intercepts the ball well. Sweeping handball. Dowry. Interesting handball. Williams gets it out of congestion. It always looked close, but it hits the post. Players move as they look to provide an option. Winning the ball in the air was Raiden. Raiden. One out in the square. A great mark taken there. She spears the ball. Takes that one strongly. Plays on now. Well picked up with quick hands. A poorly executed tackle there. She heads for home. It's only a behind. Fremantle, but two. Weighing up the options now. Decides to play on. Looks to move it by foot. 
Both sides are set up really well defensively early. Soccer's at forward. Carter couldn't stick the tackle. Ends up with Braden. She's got the football now. Scoops it up. The ball spills in the tackle. Hook a curry kick. Easily takes the mark. Drives the kick hard. Finds the loose ball. Dishes it off. Laurie. Curry kick. Kicks the ball deep. A solid mark for Green. West Coast will be on top if this goes through. Less than a goal of difference. West Coast right in this. Good. Found some space and marked. Couldn't keep the ball in play. We'll get the ball tossed back into play. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. Great match. Hill won herself a free. Chance right here to rest back the lead. A chance to reload the attack now. Moves the ball out of defence. Kelly heads towards the goals. Green going for number one. The scoreboard is level. Looking to bring it back into play. Mark by Sharp. Uses it now. Gets into a good position to take that. Punches the kick. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Elects to kick. Kelly gathers it now. Good mark by Gorefield. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Caulfield celebrates with the fans. West Coast get the opening goal. Swatson has it now. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Won the hit out. Gibson rides out the tackle. Terrific mark there. Miller, a long driving kick. Takes a strong mark. Kane has resources out wide. Good mark and looks to send it back. Hooker going for distance with the kick. Off hands, kicks hurriedly. Puts on a bump, sweeping handball from Flurry. Caulfield going for number two. She acknowledges the crowd. West Coast have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by 12. There's the siren for the end of the quarter. The scores are West Coast 14 to Fremantle 2. West Coast should be happy with their lead, Hutto. They came out focused and committed to a very good game plan. Anything to add, Gaz? West Coast are falling behind in the contested possessions. They don't want to give the opposition a chance to get back into it. Thanks for that. We're ready for second quarter action. Slapped away. Takes possession. The ball in the hands of Bowers. Marks all alone. Going for goal number one. It's going to be deemed as deliberate. Pokes it short in the back pocket. Marking in space for Carter. West Coast have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. 25 metres out. Bowers tries her luck at goal. Just under two goals the difference now. Unsure of their next move. 
McDonald missed an opportunity to mark. Gets it across the line. The players move as they look to provide an option. Great mark under pressure. 40 metres out. Horton going for number one. Oh, what about that? That was really special. She's enjoying that goal. The Dockers reduce the margin. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That's a really good team goal. Fremantle can't get their hands to the footy if they can win more of the ball than they can get back into this game. Last goal goes for territory. Ball picked up. Gets the handball away. Intercepted by Laurie. Swanson has it. Spears the ball. Doing well with the mark. Gets a touch to the ball. Contests the hard ball. O'Sullivan gets on the end of that handball. O'Sullivan will be the recipient of the free. Puts boot to ball. Marks in a bit of space. Uses it by foot. The loose ball picked up. Uses it now. Sharp takes a strong mark. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. There's nothing in this. Searching for a teammate. Plays on from the kick in. With a driving kick. Swanson takes the mark uncontested. Got boot to ball. Marked by Gowrick. Looks to move it by foot. McDonald wants to take them on. Moves the ball by foot. Hands that ball to the opposition. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Puts boot to ball. They chase after the loose ball. Williams picks up the loose ball. Racking up possessions now. She loved that one. That's two in a row for the Dockers. Fremantle still back the lead. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give Fremantle a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. Does well to cut off the kick. She couldn't get the hand pass away, so she just threw it. Miller just landed in her back. Atkins drives it inside 50. She finds herself in space and marks. She blasts it through for another. Her teammates rush over. West Coast take back the lead. Clears the contest. She gets her hands on the footy. Picks up the loose ball. Sand won herself a free. Goes with the kick. Takes it well. Fremantle would love to make the most of this opportunity. Dowry wins the marking contest. Dowry has resources out wide. Just landed in her back. Drives it long. Stands tall and marks. Sinks the slipper into it. Maskell gathers it now. Just gets it onto the boot. Doesn't take the mark. Scoops up the ball. Out on the full. 
Chose to kick it. A big contested grab. Slams it on the boot. Strong mark in the contest. Moves it by foot. Cameron found a way to mark that one. Decides to kick. Good body work to win the mark. Now with a low spearing kick. This is kickable by her standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Atkins going for number one. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Distance won't be a problem from here. Going for goal number one. Green enjoying that goal. West Coast lead by nine. Thump clear. Did well to control the ball. Looks up with the kick. McDonald gets in a good position. Goes by foot. Only seconds remaining in this quarter. Picked up now. Aware of the tackler. A great defensive effort. Raiden kicks it long. Miller marks. West Coast. Kevin Minnum. Halftime sees Fremantle looking to improve. The deficit of nine. A good first half from West Coast. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Let's check out the stats. The Dockers aren't converting their dominant periods. They've had enough inside 50s, but it's coming out too easily. Pressure and forward half turnovers is what they need. Thanks for that, Gaz. Plenty of action to come in the second half. We'll be ready to go again shortly. The third quarter has begun. Clears the contest. Hacking it out of there. Hit the man hard. Raider grabbed it clean. The ball mopped up. Hooker going for number one. Hook the kick wide and a behind. West Coast lead by ten. Ready to bring it back into play. Picking it up was Atkins going for goal number one. West Coast doing well at the moment. Antonio to kick it in. Finds this and marks well. Puts it on the boot. Marks that ball uncontested. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. West Coast forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Alex to kick. O'Sullivan unable to lay the tackle. Missed the target. Mascol heads onto the ground. We'll have another ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Wins the race to the ball. Had plenty of the ball. Sees it out of play. Laurie making her way onto the field. Ball back into play. Spills the mark. Kicks hurriedly. Gains some territory. Kane got the hands free. Slams it on the boot. Finds a bit of room to mark. She gains the possession. The tackle over the shoulder. Kick by Duffy. That can dug out the loose ball. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. That's her first. They get around there after that effort. West Coast have three in a row. The lead is now 17. Hammers it. Uses it by foot. Kane going for number one. Finds a target. Doesn't connect with the kick. And it'll be coming back. Fans crossing their fingers. Hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. It'll take something special to kick a goal from here. You're right, Hutto. She can put it through. Can't quite sneak through. 
And only a behind. Inaccuracy costing them again. Fremantle close the gap to 16. Plays on to herself. Found time to get it on the boot. They can create from this. No issues with that drop pass. Look at them celebrate that effort. Just two goals in it. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. The Dockers are playing a very controlling game. They're taking plenty of marks and denying the opposition possession. McDonald on the ball. At full stride, receives the handball. Mass goal. Just throw it. Gibson uses it by foot. The loose ball picked up. Williams cuts it off. Constant pressure and rewarded. Taken well at ground level by Miller. She looks like she needs a spell. Outstanding pressure. Mass goal kicks it. Going for goal number one. That looked great. What a goal. Pretty happy with that one. Oh, there's nothing in this now. Thumps it clear. Ball up in the centre square. Oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. Punches it clear. Mass goal slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Miller just kicks it long. Keeps it alive under some pressure. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Thrown in now. Took her eyes off the ball. McDonald contests the hard ball. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kicks it out of the back 50. Ball hits the deck. Dug out the loose ball. Finding the ball with ease. Wins the race to the ball. Gets the loose ball. Keeps the kick low. Ware gets on the end of this. Puts it on the boot. Nice hands. Elects to kick. Takes it well. Chips it towards half board. Williams marks it. Move it on. This kick will put them in front. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Williams celebrating hard. Fremantle get back and grab the lead. Thrashes it. She gets her hands on the footy. Doing well to intercept that kick. She's the number one ranked player on the ground. She's dominating this game. A great mark taken there. Miller kicks it to the square. Drops the ball. Just put it on the boot. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Picked off the deck. Gooch quickly onto the boot. The umpire pays deliberate. Interesting call. Decides to kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Hurry kick. Takes an uncontested mark. Williams takes the pressure of the goal kick upon herself. Stabs at the kick. Not much time left in the quarter. Ware doesn't want to let her teammates down with this kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Goes with the kick. Showed good control. Has to do better than... As we go into the final change, the scores are Fremantle 36, West Coast 34, a big final term coming up. Fremantle will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly.
what do the stats tell us, Gaz? Fremantle have taken control of the outside game. They've been able to find more space in the opposition and it's paying off. Thanks, Gaz. Umpire ready to begin the final turn. Punched away. This is Antonio. It looks like the ball will be coming back. Puts boot to ball. Takes the mark. Moves the ball by foot. A chance to reload the attack now. Looks to move it by foot. She gets above the crowd. 50 metres from home. Horton with a fairly straightforward shot. They can take the sting right out of the game here. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. They are happy with that effort. Oh, look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Fremantle, Fleet, West Coast, 42 to 34. It's great to watch her. Though. Plenty of excitement. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Thump clear. Finding the loose ball with Swanson. Horton lobs the handball. Gathered by Dowering. Now we'll get the ball up. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Raiden thrashes it. Well collected on the bounce. Penetrating handball. She's got the footy in her hands. Hookak links up with a chance to run. Williams slips high and gives away the free kick. She got up high, but couldn't bring it down. Haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to her and give her some instructions. Carter couldn't snap her. Kelly goes for goal. Celebrating hard. The Eagles close the gap to two. Swats it. Collected the ball well. Gives it to Hooker. Finds the loose ball. Kicks out of the congestion. Trying to avoid everything out there. Gibson goes with the kick. Gets into a good position to take it. A chance here to convert for West Coast. Sinks the slipper into it. Terrific mark there. Plays on quickly. Moved on by McDonald. Does well to cut off the kick. She spears the ball. Nice work for Gooch. Gooch. One out in the square. Takes a screamer. Drives the kick hard. Nice mark under pressure. Wants to keep it moving. She's getting a lot of the ball, guys. She just keeps finding the footy. It's a turnover. Going for goal number two. The margin is three. Teammates break for her. A strong pack mark. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what she can do here. She decides to go for home, takes the chance, and says thank you very much with that goal. Smiles all round. Now they lead by nine. Thrashes it. Gibson comes away with the ball. Gooch drops the mark. in the centre square. It's very tense at the moment. Thump clear. Decides to soccer it. Goes off the ground. Picks up the loose ball. A poorly executed tackle there. Stabs at the kick. O'Sullivan had it. Lost it. 
And the umpire will ball it up. Swats it. She has the ball. Controlled well off the bounce. Gets a quick kick away. Found space for an easy mark. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Going for goal number one. Takes a nice mark. Now with a low spearing kick. She takes the mark. Goes by foot. Dug it out. Using every ounce of energy she has left. Just gets a boot to it. Mops up the loose ball. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. With a driving kick. Couldn't quite with the mark. Laurie collects the loose ball. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Hammers it. A clean collect. Williams looking a bit sluggish out there. She puts it out of bounds on the full. Uses it now. Intercepts the ball very well. Kicks it long. Takes the mark all by herself. Moved on by Carter. Gibson couldn't keep her hands on it. Cameron collects it. Slams it under the boot. A bit unlucky as the umpire pays deliberate. Miller goes with the kick. The mark has been taken. Got boot to ball. The ball finds O'Sullivan. Pumps the ball long. She gets above the crowd. They can link up now. The loose ball scooped up. Putting this one through would give West Coast plenty of confidence. And it has to be a big kick to get it from there. 50 metres from home. Swanson goes for home. The ball ends up with Duffy. West Coast, they say a week is a long time in football. And your final word on today's game, Gary. It's just a bit of class that sets them apart today and a bit more polish when they need it at most. That's why they walk out the Indians. Thanks for that, Gary. Final scores are 7 7 49 to 6 4 40. That's all the time we have for today. It's been a great day of football, and we'll see you again soon. And if we get